Back to court for a truck driver accused of hauling what troopers say was almost 7,000 pounds of marijuana through Idaho. CBS 2's Sophia Dumani is live at the Eddy County Courthouse for us this morning with a preview of this scheduled hearing. Yeah, Denny, there's been a lot of controversy over what that substance was and how this case should be handled. So the driver, Dennis Palomarchuk, says he was transporting hemp, but ISP says he was transporting marijuana. But here's the problem. Regardless of what it was, hemp is still illegal here in Idaho, so he would still face those charges. Now, ISP right now is saying that the trooper who inspected the truck back in January told them that Palomarchuk was hauling marijuana. Now, the company who hired him argues that it was industrial hemp, which is protected under the 2018 Farm Bill. So that company, Big Sky, has requested to get the hemp back, but has been denied because states and the federal government have not come up with a regulation plan that defines hemp or if it complies with the law. So attorneys for ISP say any substance containing any amount of THC is illegal under Idaho law, even if it's less than 0.3%, which they say usually is the case with hemp. So in this specific case, ISP says the tests to determine whether or not it's hemp have not been released yet. But just yesterday at the State House, the House Ways and Means Committee introduced a bill that would actually allow hemp and CBD to be transported legally through Idaho. So it would allow the director of the Idaho State Police to issue permits for the interstate transport of hemp and CBD, which also is currently illegal here in the Gem State. Now, today's preliminary hearing starts at 8.30 this morning. Now, if Palomar Chuck is convicted, he faces a mandatory minimum sentence of five years in prison. Be sure to stay with us here on Channel 2, as well as on our website, IdahoNews.com, and our Facebook page for the latest developments in the story. We will be following it all day. Reporting live in Boise, Sophie Dumani, CBS 2 News.